<coughs> as you can see the press conference from Oberoi Realty where they've come out with the numbers is just about to begin for those of you who uh, don't have the numbers with them their revenues have seen a 19% increase on a year on year basis margins have dipped a bit uh, on a year on year basis so they've come in at 58.5 versus 64.4 while the profits are largely flat uh, but the numbers at least on the revenue front are slightly higher than what the street was estimating while the profits as well are slightly higher than what the street was estimating so Oberoi numbers are actually uh, marginally better than what the street was expecting let's pull up the stock and see where it's currently um, quoting at as you can see that's the management stock is largely flat in trade other details um, okay I think the, is the management ready to speak I would like to take the uh, uh, I would like to thank you all for taking out the time and uh, coming for this press conference for the Q4 and the FY13 results uh, the results were declared on Friday, but I'll just uh, summarize the results right now. Uh, the consolidated revenue of the company for the year FY13 was 1147.52 uh, crores. This is as against a, a top line of 974.79 crores for FY12. This reflects an uh, uh, increase of about 172 crores or about a 17.7% increase in the top line. Uh, the consolidated, uh, the same numbers for the quarter are uh, 325.99 crores for this quarter versus 285.5 crores for the same quarter last year, which is an increase of about 40 crores. And vis-a-vis uh, -vis the uh, earlier quarter, which was the quarter ending December uh, uh, 12, uh, uh, the top line was 308.03 crores. Uh, the uh, uh, profit before tax uh, for FY13 is uh, 683 crores versus 605.9 crores for about for FY12. The consolidated uh, numbers again uh, PBT numbers for Q4 FY13 uh, is 192.7 crores against uh, 187.95 crores for the same quarter last year and about 135 crores for the preceding quarter. Uh, the bottom line number of uh, PAC uh, for FY13 was uh, 504.8 crores against 462.9 crores for FY12. Uh, this reflects an increase of about uh, nearly 42 crores which is about a 9% increase in bottom line over the last year. Uh, the same numbers for the last quarter for the quarter, uh, PAC for Q4 FY13 was 145.17 crores versus 143.5 crores for uh, same quarter last year and at about 135 crores uh, for the immediately preceding quarter. Thanks. Uh, want to take Good morning. Uh, I just want to say that uh, uh, it's been a fairly good year for us. This is uh, also, uh, this also happens to be the maximum revenue ORL has ever done in its uh, uh, preceding years. So we continue to be satisfied with the way things are. We continue to see challenges globally and locally, but uh, you know the company is uh, pretty well geared up and uh, continue to look forward. So I now will open the stage for questions. Um, just feel free to raise your hand and ask. Uh, sir, Would you want to comment on the numbers? Sir? Uh, yes, uh, see, uh, one of the factors is, uh, and what we have seen is an increase in input costs. Uh, those are largely driven by market conditions as well as regulatory conditions. You are seeing uh, an increase in, uh, on account of a premium which we have to pay now for the fungible FSI and all of those. Uh, so undoubtedly there have been an increase in costs. Uh, yes, and uh, we would ideally like to, you know, in a, in a rational market condition, like to pass on as much of the costs as are possible. The reason you see also a dip in margins is because sales are tied in at a particular number. So when you will see future sales coming in and the impact of the increase in prices which we have made coming in, uh, some of that should play out. So you should see uh, the margins getting restored uh, and all of that. So going forward, uh, we, I don't see very frankly any uh, uh, longer term impact of this. Yes, uh, to the extent to which this has uh, twisted the last year's numbers a little bit, but that's all. I wouldn't read more into it than that. Well, here, you know, uh, it's the market forces that will probably decide. 
whether we can increase the price. If we see uh, there continues to be demand uh, for our projects, we will uh, increase prices because uh, replacement cost for land, uh, additional costs such as uh, fungible FSI premium and so on and so forth need to be uh, you know replenished or you know need to be taken into account. So why do you say that See, there are two things to this. One, uh, obviously there are headwinds and these are not uh, related to only real estate. These are economic headwinds affecting all the industries uh, across board. Uh, with regards to our project, let's say Gorega, uh, today a lot of people want to move into this vicinity because we've invested money in building an international school. We put one of the, one of the nice shopping malls in Mumbai. There's a hotel here. So on the back of this entire social infrastructure, the area is at a tipping point and this is where we feel we can increase pricing. Today